Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Lerner. Uh, we are talking about consulate processing uh, in this set of videos. And just a few things. Remember, if you're going to an interview um, and you have an approved I-130 or I-140, which is either family-based or employment-based, while in the United States, especially for I-140s, there may be waivers of interviews uh, or during the adjustment process, they may not ask uh, a lot of questions about the I-140. They're going to ask a lot of questions when you get to the U.S. Consulate. So if you have an approved I-140, you better know what kind of job you have, the duties, the position, the pay, all of the other uh, items, because one wrong question and answer to a question, and they're going to deny it. Now, who's eligible, basically, to process through the U.S. Consulate? Well, uh, you have to be either a beneficiary of an approved visa petition, uh, which grants a family-based immediate relative, or there's been a preference petition, but the visa number's current. Uh, you are a derivative family member of someone who has already been approved, such as the spouse or unmarried child under 21, or you are entitled to special immigrant status, uh, or, and, and this will not apply to most people watching here, but, uh, or you apply for a visa under special uh, legislation such as the Chinese Student Protection Act of 1992, the Vietnam Amerasian Program, or certain other provisions, diversity lottery, things like that. Um, and that's how you will be able to uh, consulate process through the U.S. Consulate. Okay, more on the coming.